Jose Maria Marlos was one of the main reasons why Mexico had independence from Spain. He fought for Mexico in the 1800s following Miguel Hidalgo's Castilla's footsteps. Jose Maria Marlos was a mezzo, a mixed blood. This was a reason why he issued abolishment of slavery and the caste system. Even though he was born in poverty, he got education and became a royal Catholic priest. The Mexican War of Independence started on September 16, 1810 by Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla, who was a Catholic priest and revolutionary leader. Hidalgo started the revolution because of Napoleon and the French. Napoleon forced King Ferdinand VII, who was the King of Spain, to resign and appointed his brother Joseph Bonaparte as the new king, which was to help the French. This led to revolts all over the country. Since Miguel was a part of the revolt, advocating for independence, and he was also going to be arrested, he decided to ring the church bells and give his famous speech known as the Grito de Dolores. In his speech, he advocates for racial equality and redistribution of land. At this time, Mexico had a case system that gave specific races less power. After he learned of Miguel Hidalgo Castillo's revolt and his death, he became a military commander which led to many victories for the revolution. He trained armies and instilled discipline and moral. The revolution was called the Mexican War of Independence. Some significant events during the war were the conquest of the province of Saca and the death of Hidalgo was significant. On November 25th, 1812, the capture of Osaka took place. This was significant because it severely set back Spain benefiting Mexico. Hidalgo died on July 30th, 1811. This was important because this made Jose Maria Morales the leader of the revolution. Jose Maria Morelos used both his military and political powers. The revolution was violent since everybody had to place their life on the line to fight for his or her freedom. He called the Congress of Chiplango to form and draft the constitution. Morelos organized the National Constitute Congress which assembled Sentimientos de la Nación. This issued the abolishment of slavery and the caste system. After all his sacrifices, he was unfortunately defeated in November 1815 at Tezmalaga. He was captured and shot and caught by Spain. He was imprisoned, he was tired, found guilty, and condemned to death after being defrocked from the peace tone. Vincent Guerrero had joined the revolution in 1810 under Jose Maria Morelos. He continued the revolt after Morelos' death in 1815. Six years after his death, the day finally came where Mexico was de declared independent from Spain by signing the Treaty of Cordoba after 300 years of their rule. After the celebration of the victories, they had to face the aftermath. The Mexican Revolution destroyed the old government and changed the social and economic structure forever in Mexico. After fighting, Mexico had cultural and agricultural problems and they had lost over 500 million soldiers during the war. This affected them because they did not have as many workers to protect the country and not a lot of people to attend crops and agriculture. Some long-term effects were 11 years after the war, the royalists were defeated. Eterbite's army entered Mexico on September 27, 1821. Mexico has the ninth largest economy in the world. Its main industries are food and beverages, tobacco, chemicals, iron and steel, petroleum, clothing, mortar vehicles, consumer durables, and tourism. It is a major exporter of silver, fruits, vegetables, coffee, cotton, oil, and oil products. Jose Maria Morelos has a statue to remember him. He also has a national day in his name. Mexicans celebrate the birthday of Jose Maria Morelos, who is regarded as the national hero and one of the founding fathers of the Mexican nation.